thanks for visiting Heidi's. I'm here with Laura, I'm Karen, and we had a lot of customers the past couple weeks and, oh, yeah. and our brother club and so forth. And they, they, were, they were asking, what was it, Laura, about? Um, well, we had the, somebody who had this block and they wanted to put some quilting in it. Okay, sort and of like this, a block already embroidered out. It was already embroidered and they were trying to put some pattern behind the uh, design that they'd stitched. And so we were going to show how to do that. So let's go. We're going to show you. So um, it's already embroidery. Now, if I was doing it um, to have quilting on there, I would probably hoop some batting mm -hmm. and do, um, we're going to show you how to put a stippling or some kind of quilt pattern around something already embroidered out. Or even if you had um, a panel that you had bought and you want to quilt around a picture, you know, Absolutely. on a panel, a printed panel, that you would do the same. So we're going to get it into the hoop and yep. put it onto the machine. And then we're headed to my design center. Simple as hitting my design center. And then we're going to hit the little flower icon up here with the arrow. And what that is going to do you, um, I guess it's really called just scanning. It's like taking a picture of it, the design. It's scanning only what's in there. It's not going to create um, a stitch. It's just going to scan the image, correct? Laura? Exactly, and it doesn't take very long in a right. this size. You're going to get the message that the frame is going to move, so it's just giving you that warning, and all you have to do is hit OK. So it's taking the picture of what's in the hoop, recognizing it. Mm -hmm. When it's done, it's going to show it on the screen. So we picked something that was black um, in bold colors, so you'll be able to see it. And we didn't have to unthread the machine at all, so it's trailing a little thread, and that's fine. That's great. Okay, so it's kind of a, a small size for me to work in. So there, you do get these images up here that have the hour or the um, magnifying glass that I can um, make it a little bit bigger, so I can see to work with it. Mm -hmm. um, in my design center, you have your palette here, so you have a pencil. You've got paint brushes. But right now I'm going to work with my pencil, Laura. Yes, and you might want to try the trick of putting something across the screen. Oh, if your yeah. hand rests on the screen, it might make a mark. So. Well, and sometimes, you know, I drink so much coffee <laughs> well, now that's that I get problem. like this. <laughs> so it, it does help to have something. And Laura said that sometimes she uses a, um, I a, a clipboard. clipboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so something that, you know, your hand doesn't hit because when your hand hits here, it's going to recognize anything that touches it. But I'm going to use my stylus. That gives me the ability to draw without um, hitting the screen. Exactly. So hit my pencil. And you might want to change the color to something other than black because that's the default color okay. so that you can see the line. Are you going to sew that line? Okay, what, no, I was going to bring that up, Laura. You're just jumping well, right on. And <laughs> okay, so we hit the pencil. And then you're going to hit this little page right below the paint can. Mm -hmm. It's a little menu of all of your choices right. for drawing. Um, so then these are your stitches. So if you want to do a satin stitch, a triple stitch, a double stitch, or triple stitch and a double. But we're not going to sew this line. We're just going to tell the machine the area that we do not want to put quilting into. So we're going to hit no sew. And, and all I, of the colors are going to go away at that point. Right. So if I wanted to change it to a color, I would have done it before I hit the no sew. Um, at this point, I think it's going to be black because it always defaults to black. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to start drawing. And I kind of am going to do it as close as I can without going into my embroidery design just to tell it the area and Karen, if you happen to make a mistake, keep on going. If you happen to make a mistake, you can come back and correct anything that really is not what you like. So and I haven't had too much coffee, so I think I'm okay to just do it without your... And because this line isn't sewing, it just has to be acceptable to you. And because you can't see all of it at one time, sometimes you have to move your or adjust your view. Right. So, um, let's see if I can take it. So, if you can kind of see my lines um, around the butterfly, and that is just telling it, okay, I don't want you to put your stippling in there. 
Now you're also going to check to make sure that there's no open places right. in your line too, because sometimes when you pick your pencil up to move or your right. stylus up, check right there. So if you think there is an open, and it, again, this isn't gonna sew, I'm just gonna do a heavy line in there. Um, and just to sew, I'm, I'm for sure that uh, that's a closed path. Right, Laura? Right. Am I using the right terms? It is the right term. And I don't know, every time that you pick up your pencil, you have the ability to maybe have a little gap. Um, so that's why I, I'm kind of going with my hourglass up here in this to just check to make sure that they're all closed. And it looks like there is, but yeah, well, so I, and we'll if it, see. If it, isn't close, we can fix it. Yep, undo, undo. I love the undo. Absolutely. Okay. Love the undo piece. All right, so let's just go back to the regular size. And we're going to go into um, our quilt stitches. So instead of working with the pencil, we're going to go down and work in our paint can. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, or the paint brush, this little box here, here. And hit the paint can. And we're going to go into the menu. And these are all of my stippling is in here or you can go into this menu and then you have all of these quilt patterns to pick from oh but there's more oh more yes go, go down. If you, we've got the upgrade on this one so we have yep so this is the newest upgrade that was just released patterns. um it now. makes your machine to a 3.00 and it also adds other features but the it adds some other uh, quilt fill stitches but uh, I want you to be able to see really what shows up. So I think, let's pick the circle. What do you think? That looks good. Okay. You know, so I we'll like pick the, circle. the circles. Hit OK. And now at this point, you can change it to a color. It's going to right now be red. I think red will show up on that black. And we can always um, come back if it doesn't. And it doesn't mean that I have to embroider it in red. I, you know, obviously the, the machine is colorblind, so you can put whatever color you like in here, but I want you to be able to see it on the screen. So I'm going to pick red and hit OK. And then you're going to tell it this is the area that I want you to do, do the quilting in. So just touch anywhere um, on the outside of the, the butterfly. So that entire area that's shown in circles now would be the area that the machine would sew. Right, so let's blow it up so you can see. And if you can see real close, these circles are nowhere in my butterfly. Laura, I did great closing that path. <laughs> so, um, anything else that you think I should cover in this lesson, Laura? Well, I think that you've done a pretty good job here. Okay. So let's call it uh, end of this lesson and we'll do another one on another day. Okay, so, Stay tuned. If you like this video, let us know, um, and we'll try to do some more maybe every week.